Gamers, this is Bianca with another episode of MF Home TV. Before anything else, I want you guys to subscribe, to like, to comment, and of course, click the little bell icon below. So, rugs. Rugs, 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 rugs. Rugs are absolutely great, but how we use them? not so great sometimes they're too small sometimes they're too big but most of the time their color clashes with the furniture and the decor around you today we're going to discuss the guidelines on how to style your rug because yes there are rules to it this is how to style your living room with rugs Firstly, what is a rug? And is it really different from a carpet? Are these terms really supposed to be used interchangeably? Hmm. A rug or area rug covers only a specific area of a room. It can be picked up and can be easily placed somewhere else. While a carpet covers all the floor space, like when they say this hotel has carpeted flooring because it's from wall to wall. Carpets are also glued or stapled to the ground, making it harder to move around. There are two ways your living room could be arranged and that is one, the wall layout where your sofa is up against the wall and two, the floating layout where your sofa and everything that comes with it is in the middle of the room, away from the wall. For floating layout, rule is to get a huge rug, enough that it will fit under all the legs of your furniture. The rug here is the anchor of your living room and without it, your living room looks scattered and disarranged. Putting a huge rug groups everything together and makes your living room look cohesive. No rug with rug. No rug with rug. wall layout you can also have all legs of the furniture inside the rug or you can have front legs only strictly those two getting a rug that can only cater to your coffee table is a big no no that just makes the rug look like a bathroom towel and it hurts the beauty of your living room rugs either make it or break it we don't want the latter to happen so if you're not sure of the right size always go bigger just in case Now that we're done talking about how to arrange the rug in your living room, it's time to talk about how to pick the right rug. What is the right color? What is the right texture? And especially, how do we style our living rooms using a rug? Follow the opposite rule. This means that in order to make your living room not look plain and boring, the color of your sofa and rug should contrast each other to balance your living room. If you have a sofa that has prints, get a rug that is solid. A monochromatic rug complements your patterned furniture. If you have a neutral colored sofa like black, white, gray, brown, and beige, get a rug that has patterns or has a vibrant solid color. Lastly, if you have a solid sofa color that is already pretty vibrant like red, blue, orange, violet, and etc., get a rug that is neutral in color. It can be printed or plain. So we have the right size and we have the right rug, but how do we decorate our living rooms with it? Answer is color coordination. You just can't pick any colored rug for your patterned sofa and vice versa without considering the colors. If you have a printed rug, you have to match its secondary color to your sofa or other key furniture. You also need to incorporate the color to your wall art and throw pillows to make your living room look one, but not really one, if you get what I mean.
if you want more details in color coordinating, check out our previous episode titled Interior Design Rules That Every Homeowner Must Know. Hope you learned a lot today and please don't forget to tag us on Instagram at Mandala Foam and show us your Mandala Foam home. And of course, please like, comment, subscribe and tap that bell icon below. This has been me, Bianca, inspiring your home. See you next Friday! This is the comment of the week. Congratulations to last week's winner. This week's prize. Winter is coming.